Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to talk about the weed sector, medical marijuana sector, and my watch list. As we know, and everybody is familiar with, the sector did hit a bottom, and this is part of my cocooning play, so let's start looking at the watch list. Of course, you know, got to have a pretty wallpaper up there, and we're going to go straight to the watch list. I have a few of them on top. I'm going to go with volume high and just pick out some in here, some of these that I do like. And ACB is going to be one that we're going to look at first, because it's on the top of the watch list and the volume high. I'm going to change this to like a yearly chart, just to have a glance at it and show you how much they have took a beating. Aurora was one of my favorite stocks at one time. It was up here around the $9 level. Within a year, we had a, had a bottom down here, and that was about a week and a half ago to 60 cents. And so we're talking about it in the room, about the sector itself, and we're all familiar with it, with some of these stickers. And so let's pull this up to the 20-day, see if we can get a little look at the 20-day real fast. This is ACB. We started to have us a little cup and handle right here. It kind of looks like a, like a label. You know, like a spoon, like a water label when you used to dig in the well. So we do have a low support down here at 85 cents, 85.86. That first one's right here, right around the 95. We have a little resistance that we need to get to right about in here. Let me see. Yeah, right there at 105. If we can break, I'm look, not looking at this. What I'm looking at is this over in here at 105. And if we can break that 105, we've got three more resistance levels. This is a scalper play. You get in and you get out. Or you could try to run it up to hard resistance, but we got a double top gap right here, and that'll take you to right around 110.46. If you can break that, we're going to 116, and then we'll try to get it up to 127. There's going to be a little hesitation right here at 123. So that's ACB. Put that on your watch list. Let's go back to my watch list. Tilray. Everybody knows Tilray. So we'll take a look at it. She had a bottom too about the same time that ACB did. And look at it, 243. This was called out in the room by a gentleman named JD. And probably a couple others were talking about it. We had a little consolidated support right down here at 359. And then we had the breakout past the, the 497 area. I got in the option on this for a swing trade yesterday. Guy made a couple hundred dollars on it. And let's look at the daily one minute. Well, let's look at the three minute. So we are breaking into after hours. We did have a high today of 970. I think the low support, first support's gonna be right down here at 778 with maybe the third one down here right around the 691 area. You know, it can drop down to this place here and I think this would be an equilibrium to about a 50% scalp from the high, which your low support could be right down here at 648. I'll turn that into a red line real fast. And that's going to be your low support. So we've got a low, low, low strong buy at 648 with your first support right in here at 778 with a resistance to break up here at, and we do have an ascending triangle into close. And that is right around the 855. But I want to break this resistance here at 881, 880, 878, somewhere in that area. Let's, let's go ahead and stick with 878. That's going to be your resistance to break to a double top past 10 bucks. Tilray is oversold big time. I'll prove that to you by looking at the tent, the one year chart. Look at that. I mean, we're up here at 68 bucks. This one ran all the way up to 300. Pulled back pretty strong, so you're definitely at a bottom. I think this can get all the way up to the $15 level long this year and maybe break past 20. That's T-L-R-Y. Add that to your watch list. The next one we're going to talk about, and let me pull up my trusty worthy watch list, is going to be Cron. Cron was one of my favorite calls that I made back in 2018, if I can remember right. And I'll pull up the three-year chart by showing you that. Let's pull up the three-year. Bam. I called this out right around the six-buck area. And it ran all the way up to hit a resistance high of right around the 21 C citrus or whoever they come out. And ever since then, this thing's dipped on down to a bottom level. And that 464 was my low support 
and we'll pull this up on the yearly now and look at the year but you did see we did have a nice little run up to twenty five dollars and we have pulled back to a support level which would be this channel right in here so let's pull up the uh, 20 day take a look at it we've had a 20 day high of right around this resistance area of 610 called it out the room pullback was right here around the 640, 464 area and we did go below that we did really crush it down here at four bucks but now we've kind of had a good three day run it did have a resistance high of right around the 663 so your first support is going to be in this area right in here between 610 and 614 and we got another support right here right around the 624 but if we get down to 610 614 that could be your first entry of buy maybe and we've got some consolidation right in here right around the 595 area but i think we if we did pull back hard it would be right down here to 560 would be a strong buy with a resistance to break at 663 remember the pot stocks are hot right now and we could run these for the next two to three months as long as we keep cocoon cocooning at home staying at home you know it's just one of them things we just have to kind of live with the corona right now i've been killing them every day so let's go ahead and pull up the next one and you're willing to stop these uh videos at any time and write these charts down write these numbers down copy and paste the chart but always remember they come from i love stocks the next one we're going to talk about go down on my list cgc cgc's held up pretty well we've had a run down here below 10 bucks at nine dollars and we have a support level right in here right at 1472 we have another one right down here at 13 well that looks pretty good right here I'm going to kind of go from the day before set one right there right around the 1423 and these are my moving averages I got four different ones I've got the 100 the 200 the 34 and the 9 and we've got a low support right down here on the 200 right around the 1321 area I'm looking over here and then we've got a gap on down and that's going to be a low support of 1227 resistance to break is going to be at 1617 I think we've had a pretty good run on this stock. It could pull back to these other support channels. Always remember, you know, that low support at 1227, but if this is the gap right here where you need to be at 1321. It's going to be your third, 1423, and then 1472 with a resistance to break at 1617. Let's go back to the watch list. Let's see if Hexo took a beating, took a pretty bad beating. It's one that we might want to keep on watch. It was down here at 33 cents. Let's take a look at this. Boy, that would have been a good buy down there at 33 cents. Every one of these kind of started kicking butt right about the same time. So there's something going on. Definitely, we had a big breakout on it today. Pulled back right about 80 cents. We've got another support level right here. I'm doing this on a 20 day one hour time frame I'm drawing these up then I'm going to come back and look at it resistance to break at 113 to a high of right around the 124 now this one's had a pretty good hard time with itself if you can break past that 127 area let me look for some other places here 127 then we could take it maybe up here to about 150 and then you're going to have a little bit of a little bit of consolidation you did see we pulled back to this support right here and we could bring it maybe up here to right around the 194 now these blue lines go back to 2019 and probably will be erasing this chart pretty soon and starting fresh with it so let's go ahead and pull up that 20 day one more time and see what we got here so we got a hard resistance we need to break here at one at the 124 area with a low support down here at 80 cents then you got a couple gap you got a gap here at 85 and maybe uh support right there right around the 91. i don't want to see it go no lower than that 91 cents i wanted that to hold so i'm going to turn that into a red line and identify that i'm going to make this kind of big so i can see it and that tells me that i really want this to hold that that support area 
of 91 cents with a breakout of 113 to 124 all the way up to 150 and that's going to be hexo and it's had a pretty hard time let me scratch my nose here let's go on to the next one see if i see anything on my list that i watch i do like this apha it's up 13 percent today with almost 96 nine million six hundred and uh it's not a small float let's take a look at it and then i'm going to go ahead and then i'm going to look at inbev that's took a pretty bad beating too so let's go ahead and look at apha another nice run broke out about the time that everyone else did had a low of double bottom right here of 193 we'll just mark it there at 199 and support level is going to be right here at 290 with a first support right there right around the 2321 and I'm going to come over in this area over here to find what I could think would be the second support and I'm going to bury it right there at 305 so we've got three supports 290 305 and 321 with a resistance to break at 358 take it up to right around the 375 area and let's pull this up on a yearly one more time take a look at it see if I can find something else ah right there look at that see a little gap down 397 and then you have another one right here at 409 we'll bring back that three month chart so we've got a low support no lower than this 290 area with your first support right here at 321 with a resume let me see here I'm looking we're gonna got it we got to go past 338 and bring it to 358 and that's going to be a hard resistance up to about 375 and that's the that's where I'm going to stick with it. there's a lot of lines on here I almost feel like I need to erase them and start over, but that's what I'm... Yeah, I think I will. Let me just erase all these and start fresh. We'll start fresh again. We'll go back to a year. Kind of confusing to me, and I like to do this right. So we've got a little resistance right here. 348 got some pretty big up and downs on it right about there at 276 and then a low right there at 254 with the resistance to break right there see where we pulled back right in here and then we have a long that we can take it to and that's before the gap on that one and that's gonna be right there 398 so let's pull this up to the 20 day and see what I see now I might see something a little bit different then I'm gonna add one more right in here on the 20 day so our first support is gonna be here at 331 we'll probably see that for sure so let's say 314 to 318 is gonna be your first channel of support the second one at 296 and then a low one where we had this ascending triangle right here is a solid support at 276. So that's APHA. And let me just give you one more on the watch list. You can stop this at any time and write some of these down and it's going to be InBev. I really liked InBev. Looks to me like I got an alert on it over here. Fibonacci. Long trigger. So they're, they're, they're expecting more out of this. We've got a low, low, low support down here at 122. We've got another one right in here, right around the 135 area. And we've got a support level right in here at 142 with a resistance to break of 150. We get past 150, we can run it up to the gap to 155, and then you got a gap fill right here to 165. So that 155 is going to be the hard resistance to break. Your support that I like for right now is going to be this low area down in here. And let's add this in here because I just now saw this thing and I saw this. So that 128, no lower than that. And I'm going to turn that into a red line. Bam. That's going to be our low support. Second one's going to be at 135. I like 142. 
resistance to break is going to be in here at the 150 level and we could take this to 165 and bring it all the way up to 185 and that's going to be InBev. You can stop this video at any time and write these numbers down. Keep an eye. I'm just warning you. Pot stocks are hot right now and that's the one you want to be trading. Please subscribe. Ring that bell for future updates. We do have uh, stock twits over here. We have Twitter account. Follow us on our Twitter account. Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here all the time. We're at 1,251 followers. We really would appreciate it if you hit that follow button. Ring that bell for future updates. It's as simple as that. Just bam. You just hit that thing and you're checked off. So, And also we do have our stock twits accounts on here. Follow us on there. Always remember, you can hit that button right there and it'll take you straight to some of our old videos we had in the past. Always subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that like button. And this is Washboard Jim with I Love Stocks and Vegas and I will be putting out another video on Sunday. I Love Stocks. <laughs>